Yay, what's happening, boys and girls? Of course, you're not going to tell me what's happening. I guess it's just something we say, because we all like to talk jive. Don't matter if you're white or black or Pakistani or Chinese and whatnot. Well, um, I was going to wait until I was done um, painting, but I'm like, you know, sometimes I, I, I work on something like that. And that's the great thing about creating things, specifically art, is that sometimes, you know, you blow yourself away. Uh, because, uh, you know, I'm... I, 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 I didn't plan on painting the sky today, you know, but as you can see, damn, it looks cool. Look at that. How cool is that? Wait, I'm going to stop here a second. Let me see here. Yeah, that's a bit better. See, the trouble is with this camera, it has this automatic light compensation, so things are often shown brighter than they are. Uh, specifically, like you can see the light coming from the window and that my computer, it's actually showing a bit brighter than it's supposed to be. But, you know, I wasn't planning on working on the sky. I said to myself, I'm going to work on the trucks of the train. The trucks, meaning the whole assemblies for the wheels here, which I don't want, I didn't really want to do because it's very detailed. But I got one done almost. And uh, I was just to myself, I'm going to work on the ground, you know, the little shrubs and rocks and whatnot, and also very detailed. And I didn't get there, but I'm like, you know what, look at the sky. And uh, I had started putting another coat here, a final coat uh, between the tracks and the tanks and the wheels. And, um, you know, the side here. And then I, I started fiddling around with the paint. I had a mix of, like, you know, uh, white and blue and, and all that. And then uh, also this blue here. This blue, this blue, which I love. It's like a royal blue. And, uh, and the white there. And that's how I got the effect with the clouds, which is even cooler. Much cooler, actually, than my, uh, my limousine painting here. Uh... Because this has the look of like, you know, dusk or dawn, like maybe a possible like storm starting to form, you know, cumulus nimbus clouds, you know. And of course, uh, last week I worked on this too and I got the NS uh, Norfolk Southern logo here with the horse is almost done. The stripes here, it's almost done. All this has to be just touched up with some black and some white. The header white over here, the white the wheels. Uh, and also I did the Jer Jersey Central lines, as you can see, the, the lettering, the gold lettering. And also the, uh, the numbers 1071, also above the windshields and the uh, Statue of Liberty, Liberty uh, uh, logo icon, you know. And um, yeah, so it's going really good, man. Like, I'm really happy about it. I thought my stupid battery was more charged than this, but... Anyway, so it's really cool stuff, you know, and... Uh, I'm happy to share with you. I'm especially, of course, happy to uh, be able to share this with uh, the uh, future owner uh, who's uh, paying me to do this. And, um, you know, it's really cool for him to follow this step by step because it's not like uh, it's not like when you fucking bring your car to a mechanic, you know, and you're like, you, you hope to yourself, you cross your fingers, and you're like, well, you know, I hope he doesn't fucking overcharge me and find something wrong with the Johnson rod or something. You know what I mean? It's like, you, this is it, man. There's no, I mean, if by any chance he would have a beef, uh, you know, he could tell me, well, I don't like you're doing this and that, but frankly, he told me, surprisingly, that they, he didn't really, uh, he didn't mind so much, it wasn't so much to him about the locomotives, frankly. I thought he was a big train fan, but maybe he's not uh, a foamer. It doesn't sound like to me like he's a foamer, and if you don't know what a foamer is, that's the type of guy who really loves trains. I mean, everything in their life is trains, and they go fucking look at trains and film them and photograph them like every day or almost. You know, and I know a couple of guys like that. So anyway, uh, that's about it. Uh, I want to keep this nice and short there because uh, I didn't want to go out and film some stuff. And uh, yeah, so far so good. Everything's on schedule and uh, copacetic. So yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys take it easy. Bye-bye.